So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Oh, how many crates have died since Ratchet and Clank first met? You can start counting in this footage I captured from the original PlayStation 2 game, released by Insomniac Games in 2002. Colorful 3D platformers were a little more popular at the time, and Ratchet and Clank was propelled by its futuristic appearance, its uh, interesting structure that scattered levels across different planets, some anti-corporate humor, and what has since become a hallmark for Insomniac, weirdly destructive weapons. But the more you've played of Ratchet and Clank since then, the more dated the first game seems. There's absolutely no strafing in this one, no upgradable weapons, the writing is kind of flimsy, Ratchet is played by Mikey Kelly, not James Arnold Taylor, as you may know him in the majority of games. Also, Ratchet is kind of mean to Clank, that's just not okay. This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull, it's a robot! Oh. Insomniac's next Ratchet and Clank game, which looks like this on PlayStation 4, is a recreation of the original game about 13 years later, and a companion to the upcoming Ratchet and Clank movie, which is due to be released in 2016. So, yes, it is kind of a meta-licensed game based on a movie that partially rewrites the story of the game it's based on, which is also the source material for its remake, and you know what, let's just look at this gun for a second. One of the best new weapons in Ratchet and Clank is the Pixelator, which temporarily stuns enemies by turning them into these low-resolution, Minecraftian piles of pixels. The fact that the pixels themselves are smashable stacks of 3D particles rendered by the PlayStation 4 is a great gag, and I think it's illustrative of what Insomniac is trying to accomplish here. So I can see why this Ratchet and Clank isn't quite a remake. It's injecting a level of familiarity at a point in the story where there wouldn't be any with a more experienced Insomniac remaking a formative moment for itself. A team of 60 people are working on this one, but a quarter of them are actually carrying over from the original game. Everything from the running to the wrench throw already feels like you'd expect. You can really tell just how much has changed from the original by comparing the train sequence in the original game to the new one. The train cars go from being sparse and slow with just a few enemies here and there, and kind of boring to be honest, to much bigger and denser. There's a physics engine now, the planet's utopian city is huge and more in line with the shiny sci-fi planets that Insomniac always has in mind, and the pacing is much more exciting. And if we look at the introduction of the original game's bosses, the Blargian Snaggle Beast, you can see how much better Insomniac is at framing and animating its monsters not just in cutscenes, but in the game itself, not to mention how well Ratchet and Clank stack up to their old versions. It also helps that the influence of TJ Fixman, a writer on the movie and on the series since Ratchet and Clank Future, can still be felt in how the characters talk to each other. They're not as, well, jerkish. I'm back. So you are. And I found this. Hey, cool. It's a, uh, uh, what is it? A hydro displacer. Great. I always wanted one of those, I guess. You can fairly criticize Ratchet and Clank for being uncreative in revisiting its past here and so soon, relatively speaking. But with the exception of the original game's outline, this is a far more elaborate approach to the video game remake. There's no shortage of those right now, but as far as I know, there's only one featuring the Pixelator, Mr. Zircon, and the Groovatron. This really is Insomniac doing and redoing its thing. Whoa. Thanks. Yeah, what he said. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And if you want to see more great GR Plus videos, well, our YouTube page is right over here. And if you want to get your READ read on, the GR Plus website is right over there.